getting a good leather jacket is a must have and it has lasted me four to five years canada is cold are you on your way are you coming soon to me no parking in the Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anita and on this channel we talk about fashion, travel, lifestyle and everything in between and today I am bringing you the fashion bits. Finally I spent the winter in Winnipeg, Manitoba and this is in Canada and if you know one thing about Canada, you know that Canada is cold. It is a very cold country. Um, my province of Winnipeg goes all the way to like the minus 33s the minus 43s sometimes so it is a bit ridiculous okay and while cleaning up my wardrobe i was looking at my coat collection and i was like you know what i have quite a bit of coats you know some very basic some very practical some a little bit statement and i was like you know what maybe i can talk about my coat collection a little bit and help my canadian girlies that are trying to come to canada to know what to get um American girlies, you know, <laughs> some pieces you're gonna like, especially if you spend some time in the colder region. Just some some things here and there. And I left out my blazers for this video because I figured if I added blazers into this, this video is gonna be way longer than it should be. So this is gonna only span my actual fall and winter coats, like proper coat coats. So let's get into it as I share with you guys my fall and winter coat and jacket collection yeah coats and jacket collection let's go so i split this into four categories we're going to start off with our lightweight coats and jackets our basic coats and jackets our heavyweight coats and jacket as well as our statement coats and jackets so let us get into it all right so starting off with the lightweight coats and jackets i selected four jackets for this category and these are basically jackets that you wear like early in the fall you know just to throw over something um i noticed that i have more leather in this collection than anything else i do have a couple more denim jackets but they're just two statements that i'm like you know what let me go with the most basic one of them and this is the collection let's get into it so first things first i really love the fit of this one it is lightweight i love how it crops on my waist and this is just such a nice silhouette to have i find that this is perfect for when i'm trying to wear crop tops with like my leather pants or with high-waisted jeans like this and i also find that it goes really well with dresses like a slip dress when i'm trying to like cover up and also still give some kind of look so like i said getting a good leather jacket is a must have this one isn't super high end it's from top shop and it has lasted me four to five years so if you don't have a good one you definitely need to get one in your collection because one like this can actually change your look from like basic so you know i tried a little bit and i absolutely love the fit of this one next up is your denim jacket i think a denim jacket just like a simple leather jacket is a nice to have in your collection i went oversized with mine and i also think that's a good idea to do because that oversized fit tends to go over a lot more things than a really tight fit which you can't really do a lot with love the oversized fit i'm able to do a lot with this i find myself wearing this with some dresses as well as some two pieces just because it gives room for that silhouette also i love the freedom to be able to like move around and do things with but this is just one of those pieces that you put together and you're just like oh, i'm comfortable so yeah it is a very laid back one i know some people have a lot more dressy denim jackets so it just own but i think you definitely need a decent fun and basic denim jacket in your collection plus i love that the dirty acid wash thingy gives it a little bit of an edge right it's not like a pure blue it's not like a pure black i love that for me this is a third lightweight jacket in my collection and this is a mid leather jacket so the difference between this one and the other one is that this is definitely a longer fit it's not a maxi it's not quite a midi but this gives you that more elevated look so this is for my girlies that are trying to do like you know after work brunches or after a lot work like happy hour um this is a great one to style with dresses i actually tend to style this one with dresses a lot and i just find that this gives a more elevated a more done up look than the crop leather jacket so for this one i would do this more with heels i would do this more with like um dresses for like cocktail as well as for nighttime events and things of that nature and if you wanted to style it up obviously put a belt on it okay so my last jacket is gonna be this maxi leather jacket and i know a lot of people 
go for parkas instead but i've just never really warmed up to the parka idea especially because it's just so light at least this one has a bit of leather in it so that way i stay slightly warmer when fall comes along um i got this brown jacket from zara i'm sure you guys can see like right in here but yeah i just like this for when it's not too it's not too cold and i just want to throw something on it just gives me that laid back elevated look let us put it on so you guys can see what i mean another thing too it comes with a belt so i can definitely belt it up for that you know new york girl look <laughs> that we all like um, i tend to tie mine instead of using this buckles they give here because i just feel like that type of look is just more of a it's a better look anyways it's a better look to me anyways but yeah this is my third lightweight jacket this jacket from zara i love it i've had it in my collection for about two to three years now i don't see myself getting rid of this jacket no matter how many times i finish with my life okay now let's move on to the next category and these are gonna be my basics basically the jackets that i wear all the time and jackets that <laughs> honey you definitely need at least one or two in your collection so first of my basics is a bummer jacket definitely you need at least one bummer jacket in your collection and uh, i think the beauty of a bummer is that it takes your look from however basic you want to make it to a nice laid back put together look so if you're looking for something that's easy to style easy to throw on that also doesn't create a lot of commotion no matter how you style it a good bummer is the way to go i got this one from oaken ford last winter and i think i got it for like 110 dollars so it was quite a good price for the quality that i was getting it's very very comfortable I absolutely love the fit I'm wearing. This is actually an extra small and guys, it fits so well. So if we're talking sustainable, versatile, this is the one I tend to go with. And this jacket looks really beautiful with denim. So if you like if you like that cropped sweater look, denim look, laid back look, this is the one I definitely recommend. So next up on my basics list is a classic black jacket listen i don't know what you do i don't know what you're into i don't know where you are but you need a classic black jacket that is a maxi and that you can wear with a plethora a plethora of looks so this one i picked up from zara in 2019 and this has been in my collection for a long time so i really love this jacket because not only is it a black classic jacket it has this um oversized fit that obviously if you know me by now you know anything oversized is my jam that i absolutely really love uh so when i was in corporate this was definitely my go-to for when i'm trying to look more put together it goes with a lot of things the fit is nice and laid back but also not too laid back that you look uncapped or you look messy another thing that i really love about this jacket is that if you're in canada it does get quite cold and this is one of those jackets that i can wear to it's about like tell us about like minus 20 if i layer under properly this is how it fits uh, i tend to wear it on button but obviously you can still button it up if you want to you know keep everything together this also goes really well with a scarf inside of it for that look too because i know some people like to cover up their neck with shawls and scarves which makes sense it's gold <laughs> okay so yeah this is my absolute if i was gonna rank my jackets this is definitely my number one because i reach for this without thinking twice no matter what i'm wearing and it's gonna look good in it i definitely recommend a classic black jacket especially one that you can layer with and one that can't stay in your collection for a long time so on the same vein as a black classic jacket there is the camo jacket that is also a must-have um, i think in about 2016 the camo jacket went viral where every girl needed to have one i think that's when instagram was still in also it's baby stage every blogger had this every influencer had this and one thing about a classic camo jacket too is that is that it's that one jacket that takes every look from a basic look to an elevated look i love the jacket because just like my black i can also wear it into like the minus 15s and the minus 20s it also comes belted which gives me that done up look this is definitely the jacket that i tend to wear more with like my um thai high boots 
and my mini skirts because I can just wear them underneath with my tights and have the belt cover it up and look very put together, very organized. Working in Carberry, this was a jacket that I would wear when you know we had inspections or we had to go out to, um, out of the office to meet other groups. You know when you just want to look <laughs> look elevated a little bit. This was my go-to jacket. It comes with buttons as well as a belt, but I'm a belt girl, so obviously we're belting over here. So paired with ankle boots and tie-high boots, this was definitely one of my jackets to wear back in corporate. It still is. Um, I tend to wear this a lot when I'm going out. It's just perfect for that effortless chic look. And then the last of the basics is this white jacket. The first tip I learned about building a well, capsule wardrobe, now that I have one, is that you need to decide what your base colors are. So for me, they are white, blacks, browns, and orange because that's my hurry color. And of course, if I was gonna get basics, I was gonna get basics in a color like a white because I tend to wear a lot of white. Like I said, I love the color white. So this is one of those pieces that I tend to wear with my beiges and my nudes because I like to style complementary color and I also like that this is like a it's not a maxi it stops around here too so it's great for when I'm also going for a laid back look so I tend to wear this with my chunky boots um, when I'm going for that look where I want to look a little bit put together but also a little bit streety start with my absolute favorite and it's the full leather jacket with some pink lining this is a shirling jacket and honestly i've come to realize that over the years shirling jackets are really my favorite type of jacket so i got this one from nasty girl in 2020 and guys this jacket is so cute i definitely wear this jacket a lot more when i'm trying to like look put together without doing too much so i'm wearing like especially when i'm wearing blacks or white every time i wear this jacket i get lots of compliments and i know that this is not a jacket that you have to have but this is a jacket that is a nice to have because when i'm able to wear compliments i know that this one is going to come in handy this is nice to have i've seen this come in red i've seen this come in blue as well just anything with a pop of color would definitely do your wardrobe some good plus i love shirling details so of course i love this <laughs> i want to talk about these two statement jackets together because I call them statement pieces because of their color. They are black, white, or camo, but their style is simple and classic, so it's really the color that makes it a statement. The first up is this pink peach piece, and this is from Zara. I got this for days where I'm trying to also look put together and also don't want to do the black, white, or brown thing. This is just a really nice one to do. It comes with a pocket. Uh, I absolutely love the fit. This is just one of those pieces for when I want to do a dress look with some boots or I want to do like a skirt and like a, a toddler look with some boots. This definitely comes in handy and it just looks clean, classic, elevated. I absolutely love it. And then the brown is a classic tan jacket. I love to wear a lot of tans when the fall comes along, so this is perfect for that. Um, I would say that the feel of this is very plush. It's the closest thing I have to a pack of texture in, the, in that it's that lightweight. So it comes with a belt so I can belt it up as well as buttons if you wanted to style it with buttons only. And now on to the jackets that are statement pieces because of their prints and of course because they take a little bit more time to style. Um, let's get to it. So first up I have this jacket and this is a thrifted piece actually. This is from Forever 21. I thrifted it for about $15 and I got this because it reminds me of the vintage Calvin Klein prints. I think it's such a classic print that would never go out of style. Every time I wear this, I also feel, you know, very, very done up. I also like this for when I'm trying to do like a very edgy street style look. I feel like it's just so, so chic. And the print of it too is just so recognizable that when you wear this, you, tef you definitely get compliments. I love check, like I love, when it comes to prints, I love checkers, I love stripes, and I also love Houndstooth, 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 
I'm gonna say houndstooth and this is just one of my favorite ones so this one I definitely wear with my whites my blacks my browns like I said I keep it very basic or with my colors but this is such a cute one to style and I promise you guys every time I've worn this I've gotten compliments and let me tell you thrifting is one of the best places to find jackets so yeah this is so cute I absolutely love this jacket I don't see myself getting rid of it anytime soon in terms of quality it is holding up nicely i think this is one of those pieces that i'll most likely pass down to somebody <laughs> you know just because of how um, timeless it is and i also love that the sleeves are long enough that you can fold them you see i had mine folded up earlier and if you're going to do prints might as well do a print like this that will not go out of style because why not like i said earlier i love checkers stripes and homestood or homestood i don't know Houndstooth? Houndstooth. Anyways, and this is a houndstooth jacket I got from Nasty Girl. I got this two winters ago, and guys, this is such a cute jacket. I enjoy styling this jacket particularly because it brings, you know, lots of attention. It's very easy to style, goes really well with blacks and whites, of course, because of the print. But also, it's one of those out, um, jackets that elevates your outfit so easily and so effortlessly and um, once again Hoonsuit is also one of those designs that will never go out of style however they're a bit more difficult to style if you don't really get it or you know if you kind of struggle with putting pieces together once again it has that classic silhouette of just buttons in the front that you can button up if you wanted to enough room up front for you to put your scarf or your shawls in i love this piece this is another one that would not also be leaving my collection anytime soon i don't see it happening but yeah i love this so this is my salt and pepper jacket i absolutely love this jacket just because it's not a true black or a true gray it's somewhere in between so it gives a bit of that edge i love the military design of it so the buttons here where you have your lapels i don't know kind of lay like this i feel like it's very effortless very done up i don't I tend to wear this one with a lot of street style. I tend to style it up a little bit more corporate, but I love this because when I did wear this to work, I would get so many compliments. I will admit I don't wear it as much as I wear the other pieces, but for what it is, it's good. And I love pieces like this that you don't see everywhere, but that's kind of unique to me. That's why I keep this one in my collection and that's why I'm not getting rid of her. That's why I think she's a moment, okay? And then the last of the statement pieces is this jacket which is new in my collection and it is from H&M. This is from the H&M Studio Collection and I got this in a size medium. It was actually sent to me but I truly truly love this piece. It is a warm piece. Um, going by the material I know it's going to be a piece that I can wear into the minus 20s and minus 15s. Um, definitely not you know in the minus 30s love the silhouette love the structure once again like i said about my salt and pepper piece i like pieces like this that you wouldn't really find the color combination of the material print everywhere and this is just one of those ones um i love that it has a lot of pockets room in here length wise it is a very 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 good length it's very comfortable i have that arm movement and it's just really 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 soft there's nothing worse than getting a scratchy jacket in winter. It's a scratchy jacket, a scratchy sweater, like any of those, ugh, the worst ever. I feel like this is one of those pieces, kind of like my brown checkered one that I think I can pass down to somebody just because it's so unique. And this military design is just fire. And it's so warm and so, so, so soft. Now let's get into my heavy duty jacket. Let's get into it so we are in the last stretch and these are my heavy duty coats um i'm gonna be starting off with this jacket i got recently you guys have probably seen this a couple times it was in my last haul it's in my latest vlog <laughs> but i got this jacket from revolve and guys this jacket is so heavy duty this is a sherlin jacket like i told you guys i love sherlin pieces just because of that four line detail inside keeps you extra warm but this one is so heavy that this one can keep you warm till like the late 20s guys late 20s it is very thick lots of room in there i got mine in the medium and it does run big so so it does run big so of course the medium is like extra extra oversized the four detail gives all of my outfit an elevated feel 
the comfort is so good and for when it gets super colder i know we tend to ditch our leather jacket but this is a nice way for me to have a leather jacket deep 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 into the winter okay deep into the winter love it love the fit love the comfort level and it just fits so nicely so next on that heavy duty lineup is this jacket this is a 4-4 jacket from H&M and who would have thought a jacket from H&M would be giving you heavy duty like this so H&M sent me this jacket last winter and guys this jacket is so thick I found myself wearing this also deep into the winter last year totally enjoyed it and this is such a nice piece for when I'm trying to elevate my style so the hands come with this leather um, cuff detail that I think is so fun. Okay, like I was saying, the sleep detail that it has a bit of leather to it is so fun because it kind of adds an extra layer of extraness to this jacket because it is already very much extra, okay? Plus, I think this is a perfect jacket for your work Christmas parties. New Year parties, it's so elevated, so dressy that you will stand out, babe. You will stand out. This is actually one of my favorite jackets in my collection. I think if you can find a jacket, I think this is sold out, I don't know. If you can find a piece like this that gives you so many options and it's actually this warm, stick to it. I'm trying to see if it has a pocket. It has a pocket. I always forget. But it has a pocket, guys, in here. But yeah, guys, so this is my second heavy D jacket that I would never get rid of okay never <laughs> all right we have made it to the final one we have made it to the final one and i wouldn't be a true canadian girl if i did not have a winter parka okay we don't play with our winter parka over here guys we do not play so my parka is from the brand noise and or n-o-i-z-e i don't know if it's noise or noisy i think it's noise but i got this from hudson bay about four years ago guys and let me tell you something this is such a good investment this jacket is your minus 30 minus 40 this is the person you need this is the this is the jacket you need in your collection of course it has a, a pocket in there it has some uh, pockets in here as well for you to store things you know when it's cold man you need rooms for your airpods your gloves your everything and this is the ideal one i know a lot of people go for their nut faces I, those are cool too but this one is the one that i've bought in the recent years and i was just like yeah yeah i'm keeping it plus it obviously has a hood so when it gets colder you can definitely layer on it but yeah this is my holy grail jacket i don't see myself getting rid of this one this year or next year i'll probably get myself like a white one or something else along the lines but this is my holy grail right now and if you are going to somewhere cold you need a perfect packer like this you need one but yeah guys so this is it all right honeys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed exploring my fall and winter coats and jackets collections i hope you found it entertaining or found some value in it somehow if you did make sure to let me know in the comments below i will catch you in the next video bye